How are you doing, you wonderful nerds? Scott here, and I was traveling this weekend, so I didn't have time to make you guys a new video, but thankfully, I reached out to a friend of mine, Drake, aka Comic Drake, and he has a video all about Wonder Woman's pants. What? I'll let him explain. Take it away, Drake. Hey guys, my name is Comic Drake, and I'm filling in for Scott while he's out of town. Without a doubt, Wonder Woman is the single most iconic female character in all of comics. And if I might be so bold, I would actually argue that she is the single most iconic female character in all of fiction. I mean, she was actually recognized as an official ambassador to the United Nations in October of 2016. That isn't comic book lore from her history in the DC Comics. That literally happened in our world. Unfortunately for fans, this was repealed a short time later, after a petition of over 45,000 signatures was submitted, requesting her status be revoked, with many signers going so far as to label Wonder Woman as the epitome of a pinup girl. It's this divide between perceptions of Wonder Woman, with some seeing her as nothing but a sexual object made by men for men, and others seeing her as a symbol for female empowerment, that leads to so much controversy around her character, and it is that that we are diving into for today. You see, the UN debacle is not the only time that Wonder Woman has been the subject of such intense scrutiny. In fact, it's pretty common for the Amazon Avenger. But for today, I want to focus on one of the, um, sillier disagreements. Guys, let's talk about the time that the internet broke out into an all-out war over Wonder Woman wearing pants. And we're going to examine why the reaction was so strong, and whether it was even really the pants' fault for the backlash in the first place. Any regular comic reader has most likely witnessed a few costume changes throughout their favorite heroes' runs, and it's not uncommon for publishers to give characters new looks for large milestone issue numbers, and many writers will use the sheer weight of the occasion to help sell interesting, but maybe slightly out there concepts, like The Amazing Spider-Man number 100, where Peter Parker grew eight arms. Yeah, that happened, because comics. In their eyes, these issues are almost certainly going to sell more copies than usual due to the issue number alone, so why not use this opportunity to attach a gimmick along with it and see how it goes? This was no different for Wonder Woman, and in issue number 600 published in 2010, superstar artist Jim Lee gave Wonder Woman a brand new outfit, foregoing the Star Spangled Briefs in favor of leather jeans with a matching biker jacket to boot. It probably goes without saying, but this was a pretty radical change, and considering that it essentially happened overnight, it's not really surprising that fans stood divided over the design. Many claim this change undermined the very point of her character, while others saw this as a kind of housekeeping, bringing her more in line with modern ideals and ultimately making Wonder Woman more respectable. I'm sure you can imagine the kind of debates that were sparked over that claim. Let's be real, some fan bases have caused even bigger stirs over a lot less though. This trend to shift designs in favor of realism is the product of comics coming out of the grim and dark Mark Miller-defined era of comics, where books typically immerse themselves in hyper-violence, wanton destruction, and post-9-11 tragedy. These are mature subjects, but it was a bit hard to take seriously while heroes continued to don the exact same outfits they did in an era of silly golden age shenanigans. These new modern and realistic designs, in part, aim to finally match the look with the tone after years of stylistic clashing. Now, like any kind of change, some costumes have been more well received than others over the years. For every Batwoman, there were like 50 Tron Superboys. And for years, writers have tried to make Wonder Woman work. Despite being one third of DC's Trinity, her book sales have always paled in comparison to those of Batman and Superman. As a result, Wonder Woman is one of the most reworked heroes in all of comic history. For an extreme example, there was the mod era Wonder Woman, discussed in a wonderful video by Scott here on the channel. The mod era grounded Wonder Woman in the culture of the time and attempted to make her more relatable, something that is mirrored in the 2010 Jim Lee pants. With this new Wonder Woman outfit pushing most of the fantastical superhero elements of her design away, she wound up looking like a more approachable street-level hero, a la Green Arrow or Black Canary, as opposed to one of the most powerful members of the Justice League. In fact, you could say that this costume was no longer doing her character justice. 
Okay, so bad jokes aside, this really changed the entire aesthetic of her design, and a lot of Wonder Woman's iconography was lost in the process. Unlike Superman's costume changes over the years, which despite falling in line with more aesthetic trends, you can still easily tell that he is Superman at a glance. But this was not the case with the 2010 Wonder Woman redesign. If I could throw a bit of personal opinion into the ring, I would like to admit that I really like the Jim Lee redesign shown in Wonder Woman number 600, but the problem for me lies in the fact that it could easily fit on most other female characters like Black Canary that we mentioned earlier, or Fire from Justice League International, or even Vixen! Come on, this would work really well for her. Regardless, this is in direct conflict with how Wonder Woman's classic design really only works for her and her alone. So the Jim Lee redesign got the boot about a year later, understandably, but the pants themselves actually persisted until DC Comics rebooted their entire universe with the New 52. But although official art from the New 52's initial announcement featured Wonder Woman still wearing pants, it was later redrawn to go back to the exposed legs. Now, despite literally changing the art, not much was really discussed when it came to the sudden revision. In fact, many fans didn't even seem to notice in the first place. Yet in much the same fashion as issue number 600, Wonder Woman received a short-lived costume reimagining in 2015, with pants, again. This is one of my personal favorite costumes on Wonder Woman, and really seems to nail exactly what the number 600 issue was striving for. It's pretty different overall, but at one glance you can still easily tell that this character is supposed to be Wonder Woman, which could be why no one seemed to have really made a fuss about the pants this time around. So when you get down to it, the outrage over number 600's redesign seemed to just be a flash in the pan knee-jerk reaction to a dramatic costume change, and not so much to the pants specifically, they were just the most obvious target. It's almost as if people like good costumes if they fit the character. Who would have thought? Looking to today, Wonder Woman sports a sort of armored skirt, which in my opinion is a healthy middle ground in the pants debate, and is more in line with her original outfit to boot. At the end of the day, costume changes are a lot of fun, and even the silliest, most dramatic switches can be neat to look back on. However, when attempting to modernize an iconic character's costume, it's important to stay grounded and true to their character as a whole. Pants or no pants, as long as Wonder Woman kicks butt and inspires women all across the globe, she'll always have a leg up. I want to give a huge thank you to Scott for letting me come on the channel and share this interesting bit of Wonder Woman history with you guys. And if you like what I do here, then why not consider going over to my channel? I like to think that the videos don't suck too bad, but you know, that's, uh, that's for you guys to judge. I used to have green hair. People like to make fun of me for that. Thank you so much, Drake. What do you guys think about Wonder Woman's pants? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll respond to some of them in Monday's comment response video. Sparta is uh, he's clinging on by a thread here. And hey, if you're new to the channel, we make thoughtful and educational videos about comic books and superheroes every single week. Hit that big sexy subscribe button so you never miss an upload and tap the bell to join the notification squad, my favorite nerds on the internet. As always, I want to give a huge thanks to our patrons, especially Christopher Lang, Keaton Lampert, Elizabeth Monsell, and the rest of the wonderful nerds who help us keep this show going over at patreon.com slash nerdsync. Click a tap right here to watch our latest video or right down here for something on Drake's channel. Go check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.